Today's Kittle question is how do textures work on the artboards in Kittle? And I totally understand that. We made some updates. Now we have infinite canvas. Now we have multiple artboards happening on your same canvas or on your same project. So the textures are going to behave just a little bit differently. Let's dive in and learn exactly how they work versus how they worked in the past. So here we are in Kittle. I have this same amazing template that I've been using in a couple of our previous videos, which you can check out in a playlist right here based on the common questions. But as you can see, if I zoom in here with the plus button, you can see there's definitely a texture on this design. So for example, if I click on the title, this is going to allow me to see all of my settings for my canvas or for my artboard. And so you can see here, there is a texture. I can see which blending mode that it's on and I can see which opacity is there. I can also release the texture. I can delete the texture or I can clip the content to that texture to the design on the canvas. Now, this same functionality is exactly how it was pre-update. So all of the settings that you're seeing there are exactly the same. But here is the difference is when we have multiple artboards on our same canvas or our same project, if you will, then the texture is not going to behave globally for all those projects because maybe you want the texture on this one, but you don't want the texture on another one. So just to demonstrate what that's like, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this artboard, which you can do with holding the alter option key and dragging. So now I have two artboards here. And if I click on any of the design elements or the design pieces, what you're going to notice is that you don't have the entire artboard settings over on the right side now. You just have what you are editing on this specific canvas. Again, I have to go up here to click on the title of that canvas to show me my artboard settings which you can go up here, you can adjust size, you can adjust the orientation, pixel height, everything like that. And you can also clip content, which we'll talk about in another video, to the artboard, or you can unclip it so that you can see it everywhere. So for example, if I were to delete this texture completely, it will only delete it from that canvas that's in my project or that artboard. Sometimes we use these words kind of interchangeably. I like to use artboards. Other people like to use canvases. I think it's an artboard. So in this artboard, for example, we've just deleted that texture, but we didn't delete texture for the entire project at large because this one clearly still has a texture that we can go in and we can change and manipulate. We can change the uh, blending mode to whatever we want and we can get some really cool effects in yeah, whatever we wanna see just like that. Now, if we also want to just clip that content to the design itself on the artboard as opposed to being applied to the entire artboard. I can still do that by hitting clip content. And now if I zoom in, you can see that it is just applied to the text, to the illustration, to the elements. If I unclip that content, it's applying to the entire artboard. Meaning if I export this from my export settings as a PNG, JPEG, uh, PDF, whatever, that texture is going to be the entire rectangle of that design. If I'm wanting to export for print on demand, for example, or uh, a, a digital product or a design that I'm doing something else with that needs to not have a rectangle, then I'm going to be hitting clip content, for example. And now that I've clipped the content, I can easily remove the background either from the export or the download settings, or I can go here and turn the artboard color off just like that. And so now I know that my texture is only applying to my design and not into the entire artboard. So this is exactly the same as you might have noticed in the way Kittle worked before, just like that. The same way now, instead of having one artboard on your canvas or one artboard on your project at a time, you need to select which one you want a texture on. So the textures panel works exactly the same way over here in the left. So now you can see all of these amazing textures in a bunch of different categories. But if I try to click one, it's going to say, please select an artboard. So for example, I can go anywhere. I, I'll do one of these photocopies, hit it, please select an artboard to add the texture. So no, right now it's not going to affect anything because I haven't selected where I want it to go. So to add the texture to my desired uh, design, I need to go over here and click the title of that artboard. Then I can go back over into my textures, select photocopy texture, boom, 
and it is now applied to my artboard just like that super easy i can do all of the same things like change the opacity i can clip the content so that it only applies to the design itself unclip it and one thing which we haven't talked about yet is releasing it so if i release it then it will become movable right now you cannot move that texture it's basically completely on top of everything uh, if I release it, it will become movable in your layers, just like pre-updated Kittle is just like that. So for example, if I go into my layers, I can see now the power of positivity. The texture right here is not movable. So if I select that texture, you can see that it's highlighting both the entire artboard and the texture. So I cannot move this. The only thing I would be able to do is essentially turn it off. It's already locked, so to speak, because it is on top of this artboard. So now if I were to hit release texture, now I can move, it becomes its own image and I can move it up and down and around to wherever I want it to go. No matter where in the layers I want it to go, I can go in and mess with it and change where it is. So for example, I dropped it over into the elements, uh, folder because maybe I want it to be on top of the elements but if I don't want that maybe I don't want it to be on top of the skull I can move it down to be underneath the skull so for example if you're having things that need to be more clear let's say it's text let's say it's um, a particular illustration or perhaps you're making a YouTube thumbnail like we do very often and you want the YouTube play button to not be covered by texture and you just want it to be on top as you just saw I did, you can release that texture and move it up and down and around so that it is not locked in place to a particular um, design. So it's not on top of the entire design. So that is exactly how the textures work. Now, of course, I can lock it in place wherever it is. And so now I can't move it at all. If I were to unlock that texture, it just becomes another element that I can then actually move around wherever I want. I could even move it over into another artboard if I wanted to, or I can move it back over into this one, keep it where it is and lock it in place, for example. All right, so that is how textures work in the new updated Kittle. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And if it was, give this video a like. Now, let me know in the comments what other things you want to learn or anything that might be confusing you if you can't find anything or new features that you want to see please let me know down in the comments i read and respond to every single one of those and i'll do my best to make videos on all of the comments and questions that i can so that you can become a kittle master faster now don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updated videos just like that as well as other design tutorials or entrepreneur podcasts or anything else that we're doing on coffee with kittle which we have so much coming up of so please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video